Hi, I'm Joyce Reddy back again here at Confederation Park to teach you a tap class. At Confederation Park, I teach ballet, tap and jazz at several levels. And do remember that whenever you start, we will always put you where your skill sets are. If you're an absolute beginner, the class will be a little slower, more explanation. The demonstration I'm going to give you is in the style of Gene Kelly and Gregory Hines, and it'll give you an idea of some of the fancy steps that you will be able to do should you attend our classes. tap dancing you might have noticed that I made quite a noise the the sounds are made by the taps that are attached to the shoes there's one on the toe area just past the ball of the foot and at the heel there are several kinds of tap shoes I have the uh, sort of baby Jane ones with the straps over you can also get them lace-ups Oxfords and you can also get slip-ons it is important that the shoes are comfortable and to start tap dancing, you don't need to go to the expense of buying a pair of tap shoes as long as you have a good solid pair of shoes that give you support and uh, don't have rubber soles. Running shoes don't work. <laughs> the idea of tap is to become a musical instrument, part of the band. You're making rhythm with your feet. So the first exercise we need to do is to make sure that we have loose ankles this is something you can do every day. It's good for you. Flexing and stretching. You can do circles outwards and inwards because we have to use our ankles a lot when we're tap dancing. And we need nice soft knees. So the first thing we're going to do is a ball tap. We're going to stand on one leg. Notice I'm using a chair. If you need to use a chair or a table or the kitchen counter, or if you're brave, you can do it without holding on. Take your foot, turn up your toe, and what you're doing is striking the ground with the ball of the foot. Just like you're hammering a nail into the ground. Be strong, be solid. I can do that anywhere I feel like. I can also strike the edge of my heel on the ground. Notice I have a soft knee underneath. And I can strike the tip of the toe. That's with the foot stretched inside the shoe. This is a knee action. And I can do that anywhere I feel like. But to start with, we're going to take threes. So I'm going to get good posture. One, two, three, hold. One, two, three, hold. One, two, three, hold. And to give the other leg a turn, three little steps turning towards the wall. I have now changed feet. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Change sides. Do that with the heels. Change sides. So I'm trying to keep a nice steady heartbeat down there in my feet. Toes. You'll notice I'm stepping on the balls of my feet. That's because my balance is okay. If you need to step a flat foot down, that's also fine. So we're going to do a series of those to some music. Everybody ready? Stand tall, balance your arm, foot ready. Ankles, we're going to use the ball of the foot. Here we go. One, two, three. One, two, three. Turn around with three steps. Now 
try the heels. Heel, heel, heel. Heel, heel, heel. Heel, heel, heel. Step, step, step. Now the tips of the toe. Let the knee do the work. Always get good posture. And rest. We're going to now try to follow the rhythm of the cha-cha as we do this. So we'll go slow, slow, quick, quick, slow. Okay? And we will turn just like we did before. Slow, slow, quick, quick, slow. Slow, slow, quick, quick, slow. Slow, slow, quick, quick, slow. Turn, two, three, try the heels. One, two, one, two, three. Slow, slow. Heels on this side. One, two, one, two, three. One, two, one, two, three. One, two. Alrighty, shall we try the toes with that one? So remember that the toes just come from the knee and it bounces up like you're trying to kick yourself in your nether ends, okay? Tip of the toe, slow, slow, quick, quick, slow. that so what we're going to do is take the whole combination again but we're going to speed it up so we're going to go slow slow quick quick slow all righty balls of the feet five six just a little bit faster slow slow quick quick slow 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 quick quick slow 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 Quick, quick, slow. Can you go round doing the quick, quick, slow? One, two, quick, quick, slow. One, two. Now try to walk in the rhythm. Slow, slow. Try the heels. Walk around in rhythm, slow. Slow, quick, quick, slow. Walk in rhythm. Try the toes. Walk around in rhythm. Toes again. And walk. And rest. So that was some basic footwork and it seems rather slow at the moment, but we want to be precise that we know which part of the foot is hitting the ground so that when we go quickly, we're not going to leg ourselves over. The next thing is to do a shuffle. A shuffle is a swing from the knee and the ankle and you let your foot swing forwards and back just like a pendulum. What will happen if it's like a pendulum and we're not leaning over, the foot will hit the ground 
All you have to do is remember to release the foot. Try not to slide it. Forwards and back. Now we're going to give it the hiccups. Instead of going slow, slow, we're going to go quick, 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 quick. Keep your knees nice and loose. This is called a shuffle. We try it on the other side. All righty, so what we need to do now is put that in combination. A one, a two, a three, a four, a five, a six. The hardest part of tap dancing is counting how many you've done. Step, step, step. We have the other leg ready. So you can already see that the speed is building up and we're getting more sounds. When you go really fast, when you're tap dunking, it's extremely aerobic. We don't want to quite go there yet. Are you ready? Six shuffles. A one, a two, a three, a four, a five, a six. Step around. A one, keep that posture up. Four, five, six, step around. A one. A two, a three, a four, a five, a six, step around. Couple more times. Good show. All righty, one more new step. So, when we did the steps around, one, two, three, because we did three steps, it brought us onto the other foot. We're going to do now what's called a ball change turn. Instead of stepping in place, we're going to tuck the outside leg behind and step on the back foot and the front foot, and the last step will take us all the way around. You're changing your feet three times. Back, front, step. Back, front, step. Back, front, step. Back, front, step. Ball change is one foot tucked behind the other. Back, front, back, front, back, front. And the extra step is what turns you around. Back, front, back, front, back, front, back, front, back, front. And the extra step would turn you around. So ball change is rather important. We use this a lot when we're in the center. And now we're gonna to come to the center and put some of those steps together. All righty, we're gonna try some of these steps in the center now. Your ball tap and your step. Your heel tap and your step. Your toe tap and your step. Your shuffle and your ball change. All right, so let's try the taps first. Just one with each foot. Stepping the feet together. The heels, the toes. Okay, posture up. Arms should float somewhere here or here or on your hips because it's more important for you to stay lightly on the balls of the feet. So worrying about our arms at this point in time is going to hinder us, but we still want to look good, so we'll stand like so. One ball tap, one step. One heel tap. One toe tap. One toe tap and a stamp. So what was the difference there? I just made a heck of a lot more noise, that's all. Good show, and now let's try a shuffle and a step. Swinging forwards and back. 
down, forward, back, down, forward, back, down. Key component. Make sure when you put your foot down that you change feet. Stand on the opposite foot and release. Got that? Let's add a ball change after the shuffle. Are you ready? Here we go. Here's the shuffle. Forwards, back, tuck the foot behind, step on the back foot and then the front foot. Shuffle, back, front. Shuffle, faster. Let's give that foot a rest and get this one ready. Shuffle back. Good show. Counting again. Three of those. One, two, Three, and let's make a noise. So the only difference between stepping and stamping is a flat foot and lots of noise for the stamp. Counting is the hard part. Remember to only do three for now. So we're going to do shuffle ball change three times and three stamps. Have you got your foot ready? Posture up. Shuffle back front, shuffle back front, shuffle back front, shuffle back front. Good show. Now we're going to try to get the hiccups in there. So instead of plonk, 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 we're going to do ta-ta, ta-ta. Little bit of rhythm there. This is the rhythm, the percussion section. So try. Quick, 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 and then just your stamps. All righty, here we go. Posture up, knees relaxed. And quick, quick. Quick, 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 quick. One more time with each foot. Good show! Time to move on to a new step. The next thing we're going to do is try to move a little bit. So if I take my foot and I bend it right at the big toe joint and hit it onto the ground, you see my heel is lifted. Then I can put the heel down in the ground. So it's two sounds with one foot. And again, I'm hitting the nail right on the head. Strangely enough, that's called a ball heel walk. Use the ball of the foot and the heel. I can reverse that by using the heel first and then putting the ball down. I can add as many heels as I like. And as many toes as I like. Alrighty, so what we're going to do is some ball heel walks. And what we'll do is go around in just a little circle. So you can get used to moving forwards. Then we will stop and we will add something. 
We will go to the side and across and to the side. And the other way, side, across, side. And be careful because I'm going to add some extra heels. Are we ready? So it's the ball bending and hitting the heel down. Ball, heel, ball, heel, ball, heel, ball, heel, ball, heel, a little bit faster. Good, now two heels. Moving it forwards. Three heels. Sideways. Heel. Two. Heel, three, heel. Can you go fast? Da, 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 da. Ba. Good show. All right, I think it's time for a combination, putting all of those steps together. As you can see, if you can strike the ground with the heel, the ball and the toe, and you can change feet. You can tap dance. So what we're gonna do, again, taking it relatively slowly, we're gonna put some of those steps together. One, ball tap, one step. Ball tap, step. Heel tap, step. Heel tap, step. Shuffle step. Shuffle step. Now we're going to take this foot and do a ball change. Okay, so that's ball of the foot, ball of the foot, heel, heel, shuffle, shuffle, ball change. It's gonna bring me back on the same foot. If you're facing me, you will be doing it with your left foot. I'm going to do it with my left foot so that you can use your right foot. How about that for the magic of camera work? One, two, three, four. Shuffle step, shuffle step, back, front, pause. One, two, three, four. Shuffle step, shuffle step, back, front, pause. After I've done that a few times, I'm going to move you to the side. So we've used some of the steps. Now, if you prefer to just take one step and keep doing it to the music, that's fine. If you want to just do two steps to the music, that's also fine. If you just want to make a noise, that's good. We do make a lot of noise in tap. So this is what you have. Tap, step, tap, step, heel, step, heel, step, shuffle, step, shuffle, step, Ball, change, rest, and tap, step, tap, step, heel, heel, shuffle, shuffle, ball, change. Can we go quickly? One, two, three, four. Yatta da, yatta da, back, front, tap, tap, heel, heel, shuffle, step, shuffle, step, ball, change. Good show. Now taking it slowly again. And we'll add the side movement. Tap, step, tap, step, heel, step, heel, step, shuffle, step, shuffle, step, ball, change, and tap, step, tap, step, heel, step, heel, step, shuffle, step, shuffle, step, ball, change. Let's go to the side. Ball, heel, ball, heel, ball. Let's do three heels, why not? One, heel, two,
two, heel, three, heel, 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 side, two, three, heels, one, two, three. All right, from the beginning, remember it's tap with the ball of the foot, the heel of the foot, some shuffle steps and a ball change and then we can go to the side okay up to speed are you ready get warmed up and here we go Good, I think you got that. Good show, so give yourselves a round of applause. So we need to remember, soft knees, loose ankles, firm strokes into the ground. Nice loose knees, good posture, and whatever you do, enjoy yourself. Be part of the band. If you don't do any of the steps that I have demonstrated today, at least, Get into the swing of things so that you're moving and changing your feet. Sounds good to me. I hope I will see you in one of our tap classes. So until then, stay dancing, stay fit, be happy. I thank you very much for joining the class. It was fun showing you how to dance today. I hope that you will join us in the future. All of the information about getting in touch with Confederation Park will be on this video. So you can either email us or you can go online or you can phone Confederation Park and register for one of our classes. Thank you.